Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am a huge fan of my slow cooker or my crock pot or whatever you wanna call it. There's so many favorite recipes that I love and I wanna share with you guys. I'm gonna share three with you today and then I'm gonna continue sharing a few more over this winter season as we progress into these next few months when it gets colder. So hopefully there will be a recipe that everyone can enjoy. I'm starting with the kale and quinoa soup, which is my personal favorite. I'm adding a can of petite diced tomatoes and one can of rinsed great northern beans, which you can find these at most grocery stores. Next, I'm adding two bay leaves, which I will remove before we eat it, and then some basil, and one cup of uncooked quinoa that has been rinsed. Next, I'm adding vegetable stock, and then I'm gonna add the kale, which has been chopped and rinsed as well. Finally, I'm going to chop one half of an onion. This is a white onion. And then I'm adding a little bit of rosemary and thyme as well. And in this case, I just added a little bit of water just to cover the kale. And then I'm gonna put the top of the crock pot on, turn it on, and you can set it to low for six hours or high for four hours. And then you have a delicious quinoa kale soup. This is my personal favorite. My family isn't crazy about this recipe. <laughs> But I am a huge fan of kale and quinoa and I love this recipe and I think it tastes amazing and it's really nice for one of those cold days. It's a really yummy soup. So I would highly recommend this if you enjoy those ingredients and um, yeah. So the next recipe is definitely a crowd pleaser, especially on those cold winter days. So I'm starting with chopped broccoli, chopped onion, a little bit of oregano, grated carrots, and half of a container of reduced fat cream cheese. I'm adding a tiny bit of nutmeg and then I'm gonna add some vegetable stock. So I'm gonna give this a good mix and cover it and cook it on high for two hours or low for four to six hours or until the broccoli is tender. When the broccoli is finely tender and it's had a chance to cook, I'm going to ladle three quarters of the soup out and blend it pretty well. You wanna keep a little bit for texture and consistency, but most of it you wanna make sure you blend. Once that is blended, I'm gonna add it back to the crock pot and in a side bowl, I'm gonna do equal parts milk and flour. Now I'm using almond milk in this case, um, unflavored almond milk, but you can use regular milk if you want. Um, this has a lot of dairy to begin with, so I just decided to use almond milk and that's what I had. I'm mixing that together, pouring that in, that's gonna act as a thickening agent, so I'm gonna go ahead and just stir that. And then you can add as much cheese as you want at this point. This is a broccoli cheese soup, so if you are dairy-free, you can find a dairy-free cheese. But I did add some cheese here, and I'm gonna go ahead and give that a good stir. Then you can ladle that into a bowl and top it with some fresh broccoli and cheese if you want as well. And that makes a really delicious broccoli cheese soup that is great for a cold winter day. Next, I'm making some veggie chili. I'm starting with two different types of beans. I have two cans of dark red kidney beans that have been rinsed and drained and one can of light red kidney beans. You can also cook those fresh if you'd like. Two cans of tomato sauce. You also wanna add some diced tomatoes. In this case, I have a large can of diced tomatoes or you can use two small cans. And then I'm gonna use a small can of chopped green chilies. And if you're lucky enough to be in Albuquerque, you can do hatch chilies because those are amazing. Now this is totally optional, but beer gives it a really nice flavor. And obviously the alcohol completely cooks off by the time this is done, but you can also omit that and just add a little bit of extra vegetable stock. I will put the exact measurements in the description below. I also added a little bit of ground cumin and chili powder, some chopped onion, and I'm adding two sun-dried tomatoes and one chipotle pepper that was in adobo sauce. So this is definitely a very tasty chili, 
but if you're prone to heartburn, maybe pass on this. <laughs> it is very good and it is vegetarian. I wouldn't call all of these recipes healthy, but they are definitely hearty and good for those really cold winter days. And you can have them on occasion and they are delicious. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe. Check out my last few videos. Keep an eye out for more crock pot slow cooker recipes that I'm going to be sharing in the future and more videos, of course, that I will be putting out. Hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.